cloudy out again today. I think I might be coming down with a little bit of a cold. I'm like really congested this morning and wasn't really feeling very well last night. It's not good, definitely not very good timing. First thing on the agenda for today, picking up my new solar charge controller from an Amazon locker here in town. Those Amazon lockers are really awesome. I've only used them a couple of times, but they're so, I mean, most of them are 24 hours, so you can pretty much just have things whenever you need them sent to it. My mailbox is closed on Saturdays and Sundays, so I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need a charge controller right now, or I'm not gonna be able to keep the battery charged. And sure enough, I, I used the Amazon locker, I ordered it, and I paid seven bucks to have it overnight, and the next thing you know, it's here the next day on a Sunday, and I can go pick it up whenever I want. It's pretty incredible overall. It's a really cool service. So the reason I needed a new charge controller so badly, the other day I was in here just taking a nap, minding my own business, and then all of a sudden I woke up to this burning smell and there was smoke coming out and they were sparking, and I looked down and sure enough the car charge controller, or at least the inside of it, must have been on fire. The thing was completely toasted, it was completely fried. It was kind of scary, but I was really lucky to be in the element when it happened because if I had been off exploring somewhere, I feel like it could have been a lot worse. There could have been a lot more damage in here than what was actually caused. I have a backup charge controller, just a cheap one from China that I was using in the meantime, but the first day that I did use it, it also started to spark and almost catch on fire as well when I, when I used it immediately after the other one went on fire. So I'm not really sure what the problem is. I have two theories. One of them is that the negative wire that I had used to connect the charge controller to the negative terminal of the battery was not a thick enough gauge and was becoming melted and frayed over time, which is what caused the problem with both the controllers when I was having the fire issue the other day. If you look closely at the wire here, you'll notice that it's pretty melted and frayed on the end. Most of the damage from the smoke and the fire seemed to be coming from the negative terminal of the charge controller. I ended up buying thicker gauge wire and then wiring up the old controller with the battery and that seems to be working mostly, aside from some overheating stuff right now. My second theory is that there could be something wrong with the solar panel, which is causing the, the controllers to overheat and then catch on fire over time. My plan right now is to just wire up the new charge controller, hook up the solar panel, and just kind of keep a close eye on it over the next few hours while it's in direct sunlight and see if anything bad happens. Ended up just hanging out at the surf school for a little bit, paddled out. The surf was really bad, but I took one of the big foam boards and just had fun, got wet for about an hour or so. Pretty sure it helped clear out the sinuses a little bit, so I'm feeling a little bit better. And so far, so good with the new charge controller. It's not on fire yet, so that's a good thing. turkey sandwich for dinner tonight. I want to make it a point over the next couple of months while I'm traveling to cook more, eat cheap, and eat well. So this is cheap. It's not really cooking, but it's pretty healthy. I put greens on it. It's got to count for something. So far so good with the updates to the solar system. I did impulsively buy a new 50 watt rigid Renogy panel the other day off Amazon, which will be here in a couple of days. I just didn't know if the old panel was causing the problem or if it was something with the charge controller. I, I don't, I still don't really know. I'm gonna keep a close eye on the old panel, make sure nothing crazy happens, but assuming that nothing catches on fire over the next few days, hopefully I'll be able to just return the new panel and then get on the road. It seems to be a theme that I'm having solar problems right when I'm about to hit the 
road. When I left New Orleans earlier this year, if some of you guys remember, I was having issues with the solar system then as well. So hopefully I'll just be able to return that new one, get my money back, and kind of just move on from the whole thing. I'm going to try and get some rest tonight, sleep off this little cold that I feel like I'm getting here. I've got a busy day planned for tomorrow.